What made King Charles break into uncontrollable laughter at this year's Royal Variety performance? It all started with a bold joke from a comedian who took a cheeky shot at none other than Donald Trump. Stick around to find out why a few playful words had the king in stitches. A comedic highlight in a royal evening. The royal variety performance is always a night filled with glittering celebrities, star-studded performances, and moments of humor. But this year's event will be particularly memorable for one unexpected reason, King Charles's unrestrained laughter. The king, attending without Queen Camilla due to her ongoing recovery from a chest infection, seemed in good spirits throughout the night. However, it was comedian Matt Ford's joke that stole the show, leaving the monarch visibly amused. Ford, known for his sharp political satire and impressions, brought a surprising American twist to the British stage, and it landed perfectly. The cheeky Trump joke that had everyone laughing. Impersonating former U.S. President Donald Trump, Matt Ford decided to revisit a controversial moment from the recent presidential campaign. Trump had infamously claimed that illegal immigrants in the small Ohio city of Springfield were eating the cats and dogs of local residents, a statement quickly debunked by authorities. Ford, playing up this wild assertion, took a humorous turn when he glanced up at King Charles and quipped, Your Majesty King Charles, you are named after a spaniel, be very careful, they'll eat you alive. The entire hall erupted in laughter, with the cameras catching the king himself chuckling uncontrollably in his seat. The light-hearted moment offered a glimpse into the king's good-humored side, as he responded warmly to Ford's cheeky line. This wasn't the first time the new monarch has demonstrated his appreciation for comedy. Charles has often been seen enjoying jokes at his own expense, showing a side that contrasts with the typical reserve associated with royalty. His amusement continued earlier in the evening when he shared a friendly greeting with music legend Sir Elton John as he entered the Royal Albert Hall, setting a jovial tone for the night. An evening without Queen Camilla. While the Royal Variety Show is traditionally a joint appearance for the King and Queen, this year saw Charles attending solo due to Queen Camilla's absence. Camilla, recovering from a lingering chest infection, was advised to rest by her doctors after a busy week of engagements. Although she was disappointed to miss the event, sources close to the palace assured that she's well on the road to recovery and will soon resume her public duties. Despite her absence, the show continued to honor her, with young presenters Iris King Taylor and Louis Cooper offering a posy intended for the Queen, a touching gesture that included flowers from Brinsworth House's gardens, mirroring the Queen's own wedding bouquet. A royal tradition with a new face! This royal variety performance holds special significance, marking the first time King Charles has attended the event as the new patron of the royal variety charity. The show, a staple of the British entertainment calendar since 1912, serves as a major fundraiser for the charity, supporting performers who have fallen on hard times or require mental health assistance. This year's lineup featured a mix of classic and contemporary acts, including a musical number from the new productions of Oliver and the Devil Wears Prada, a magical performance by Penn and Teller, and a standout song by Britain's Got Talent winner Sydney Christmas. The annual event is a celebration of British entertainment, but it's also a reminder of the continuity and resilience of the monarchy. King Charles, smiling throughout the night and enjoying the performances, seemed to embody the phrase the show must go on, a sentiment echoed by Queen Camilla's graceful withdrawal due to health concerns. With a nod to tradition and a look to the future, the evening showcased both the enduring appeal of the royal variety show and the modern, relatable image that Charles hopes to project as he continues his reign. And that wraps up the story behind King Charles's joyful moment at this year's Royal Variety performance. What are your thoughts on the comedian's daring joke and the king's reaction? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on all things royal. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!